music history at educator.com. The first lesson. We've made it from the to the first one going to the end. Welcome. All right. Music history. Why study it? Well, that's kind of the point of this course, but Let's just talk about music history, music appreciation a little bit. Um, set the tone for the next few lectures before we get into the actual uh, meat of the history, so to speak. Well, history is important. Okay, yeah, I sound like one of your, your high school history teachers. It's important. Um, history is important and appreciation is just as important. So we're calling this music history and music appreciation. And there's, kind of a simple premise behind that. Um, we may not all be chemists, but we certainly appreciate the work they've done in producing, um, let's say, pharmaceutical drugs that enhance our way of life. We may not all be lawyers, but we certainly appreciate um, how they fight for justice or, I don't know, fill in anything from Law & Order. Wonderful TV show. Actually, we'll hear sound bites from Law & Order later on in this course. Um, so while we're not chemists, not lawyers, we appreciate what they do. And it's the same thing for music, except the difference is this. We are all listeners. We listen all the time. And almost all of our culture um, is focused on listening. Um, we're fed music constantly throughout our day. And whether or not you admit it or not, or realize it or not, this music really has kind of um, infested, infected, I don't know, how, whatever word you want to say. It's around all the time um, on ads, TV, film, uh, when you walk in grocery stores, when you're at shopping malls and you get the oons, 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 oons kind of music, right? Um, which is supposed to increase your heart rate so you buy more stuff. I don't know. iPods, iPads, iBooks i pooed it's a onesie that uh my daughter had that said i pooed yeah it's a good one i everything um it's music constantly and i mentioned my daughter and even in kids toys the dancing monkey You get a sense of it. It's been uh, played a lot, and I believe that, thankfully, the dancing monkey is approaching the end of his or her existence at my house. But regardless, this music has really sort of uh, uh, found its way into our everyday life, from waking up in the morning to turning on the radio to working out, listening to your iPod, uh, or riding in your car, listening to the radio, uh, shopping and hearing it in the grocery store, seeing the ads on TV, going to bed at night, and hopefully listening to nothing so you get some good night's sleep. Regardless, it's everywhere, man. So let's check out some interesting music facts. Some of the major industries of the world. The electronic industry. That's going to be everything tech-based. Um, energy industry. That's oil. Yeah, we know all about this stuff, right? We, we hear it in the news almost every day. Defense, those are going to be weapons, military research, all those uh, cool covert up stuff that uh, a lot of movies are made about. Pharmaceutical industry makes all the drugs. These four, we hear about all the time. They're in the news all the time. They're world industries, all right? We're not talking about a town industry or a regional industry or even a national industry. We're talking about world industries. So, wait for it, arts and entertainment. It's a top five industry for the world. Okay, what that means is music and the arts, we're, we're lumping arts and entertainment together here, is a major player up there with energy and pharmaceutical industries and defense and the electronic tech industry. This, this is a major industry then. And you see that because of Hollywood and Bollywood, which by the way, out produces Hollywood. Um, and then just music, all the, uh, I mean, the top this, the top 40 that, the billboard this, the TV this, I mean, all that stuff is arts and entertainment. And it's a huge export, not just for this country, 
but for the entire world. So what this should show you is that music should be appreciated or at least understood because it really has kind of a prominent role to play in the world. Okay, so of course I'm biased because I'm a musician, so I'm going to say music is very, very important. You should definitely learn it. Um, but that's not so much what this course is about. Course description time. To track music throughout history and relate it to the present day. Okay, that's something that I'm really big on. I love Lady Gaga. I don't have no idea what she sings. I have no idea what she wears. I don't even know her real name. Um, I wonder what her real name is. Anyway, uh, she's a performer, and I, and I respect where she comes from, and I can see influences and hear influences in what she does. And that is what kind of gets me going. That stuff I really like is to listen to Lady Gaga and understand how it relates to Mozart because it's related. And this course is meant to track this music so that you can hear it from the past, hear it in the present, and understand how everything's related. So we're really gonna work on your ears. We're covering music from the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the Baroque, the Classical, the Romantic, the 20th century. Those are going to be our larger units and have lessons within all those. Um, they're going to be a lot of musical examples. So uh, I'm gonna use an MP3 player for uh, shorter examples when I'm gonna play right here. Okay, there you go, little Bill Haley in the comments. Technically the first rock and roll song ever recorded. Anyway, I'm going to use YouTube for longer clips. And so what we'll do is when I say there's a YouTube example, I'll ask you to pause the video, watch the example, which will be on the quick notes, and then come back to the lesson. So um, why don't you click pause now, click on the link, and then come back. Okay, so yes. Uh, shameless self-promotion. That was me performing uh, with another percussionist. Um, I'm the shorter guy on the left. It's a piece called Church Car. Kind of wacky, but I'm wacky, so should give you a sense of who I am. So that's how we're going to use YouTube. Let's review what we talked about um, in the sort of introductory lesson and talk about what's coming next. All right, music is everywhere. It's everywhere, and you cannot fight me on that. That's just a simple truth. This course is designed to help your ears make connections. All right, what I want you to be able to do is to hear music from different time periods and understand why it's that time period or what's happening there or why that's happening there and not happening there. And this is possible by examining, by first examining, um, what we call the parameters of music. And that's what the next three lessons are going to be on. Now, the parameters of music are the essential building blocks of music, the DNA, if you will, of music. Um, they're broken down into eight different parameters plus an extra one. So the, the first lesson will be on melody, harmony, form, and texture. Then we'll talk about rhythm, meter, dynamics, and tone. Those are the eight parameters, but the final lesson for this unit will be on instrumentation and orchestration, which is simply what do we use to use these parameters? And that's going to be the orchestra, instruments of the orchestra, and other instruments that are commonly found in Western classical music. So that concludes lesson number one. Congratulations, you made it through one. Um, next one, we'll dive right in with melody, harmony, form, texture knock off these parameters of music, and then jump back to music history. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here next time.